Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Space Engineers, brought to you by moi, Giver Gaming TV. Um, this is a continuation from the one that I posted a couple of days ago, which is the uh, the Caterpillar from Star Citizen. Um, as you see, the cockpit area is now on, and the front is blocked in and finished, with little lights and all. Um, obviously it's not a hundred percent accurate to what Star Citizen is in our building, but I'm working with squares here guys, give me a break. Um, <laughs> the bit that I'm disappointed in is the big Gatling guns that are on the front. Obviously this is, if I put that on, two blocks wide, so I can't put anything in the middle. So the Gatling guns won't go on properly. I can't put one next to each other because it needs a four block space. So, unfortunately, I've got these sorry excuses for guns on the front at the minute. Um, as we go around to the side here, this is the cockpit. Um, not 100% accurate, but pfft, what are you going to do? Down here is, and I don't know what this is actually used for, it's, I think it calls it a viewing area on the pictures that I've got for the caterpillar. Um, I don't know what it'd be viewing bar space to be honest but it's there anyways. Not exactly how I originally planned it to be due to space restrictions and whatnot and I didn't want this too long. This is about as long as it should be. You know it's about it's scaled about right for you know the size of the rest of the ship. Uh, obviously if you've watched my other video you know about these engines rotating and just being for show but I've had to turn these front engines off because maybe being ditzy I completely forgot that they're going to act opposite to going forward because this is a separate ship at the front here you know the gyros are always going to work but I can't turn the gyros off because I need it to stop this from snapping itself off whenever I turn it so I'm gonna have to tweak it now also I want to notice before I need to just get in ah, there we go and have a look at the torque the braking torque for these rotors because we can turn your doors on and off look oh, they're all off what happens when you turn them on so uh, where are the dig 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 rotor Breaking torque 20, 19. Right, I'm going to up that a bit. To about 30. I wish these were a little more accurate. I really do. Close enough. 31, 29. See if I can get a little closer. There we go, 31 apiece. Hopefully that'll stop it from snapping itself, silly. Or moving when I fly. Okay. <laughs> uh, so obviously you know what they are. <laughs> Engine room. Now the new part is obviously this bit. And I've also t tinkered in here. Turning them doors on has done nothing. Look. <laughs> but eventually I'm assuming they will close. Now these or like living quarters or whatnot. I've copied the picture that I had which had a weak control panel in the corner so I dumped that there and um, that's about it until we get interior decorations and panels and seats and whatnot for Space Engineers there's not really a lot you can do with the interiors um, this is the first of the storage areas as you can see there's a few storage bins there and some bits and bats and then there's an upstairs to it as well and then we get into the front section of the ship which is uh, two and a half segments uh, cut off, this is the small section that you saw at the front with the uh, poor excuse for guns on the front of it and then you come into this back section here which is where the larger containers are and as you see I've left the blocking in because obviously the caterpillar is a segmented ship 
so you can change how long it is or short it is and whatnot and other bits and bats so I've left the wall in just to signify where the segments are and where it's going to be separated this is the next section now the roofing and all that is as close as I can get it to the f the renderings that I have I have from um, the Star Citizen game you know I've tried to make this as accurate as I can and as close to what I think it's going to look like obviously the interior haven't a clue because we haven't seen any interiors bar the cargo area yet and the canopy uh, we've not seen engine bays or anything so I'm winging it on that one but as I wander up these stairs nah, I keep climbing some there you go this is the interior of the lower deck now this bit that I've climbed through is where it's actually you know physically attached to the ship on the outside and you'll see that later on this is the viewing area cracky view outside and then oh, excuse me climb up these wheel ladders into the cockpit et voila see not a bad view then again with a large ship you don't need a view because you look through a screen so here is the caterpillar outside and I've only just noticed that little ship there as you can see the size comparison that little thing and there's one of the bases oh it's fairly fast I have to say um, oh see that engine's still rotating around and it shouldn't be that's a pain in my ass that I need to somehow lock that up I'm just going to twang my ship I think so if I go forward there uh, you see it picks up speed pretty well you know, for a large ship it'll pick up pretty quick and then if I slam the brakes on obviously you've got the, all the small engines that I have added into it and the large ones, the two large ones um, it will slide left to right not really fast because I've only got a few engines and a few hidden places to do that um, again the only trouble is with the outboard stuff as you'll see the, I thought I'd hidden them well enough that the thrust wouldn't come through but apparently not um, you know the only trouble with them outer engines the, the ship would run and control a hell of a lot better if they'd sort their motors out and made it so we can control the motors from here I mean I hit K here and the rotors are there but obviously I can't um, use the engines that are attached to them I can make them spin and whatnot but you know that's your lot so if I'm here now um, if I that might actually be why that other motor is running if I change that to 0.166 and that's uh, minus one two odd oh that left one's gonna snap as you see I can rotate them but obviously anything that's attached to the rotors I can't use so I can rotate them round nicely No, I'm not going to hit it. Right. I thought I was going to hit that friggin' asteroid there. You know, I can rotate them from the cockpit and whatnot, but I can't physically use the engines, which I'm going to have to live with for now until they, they figure out how they're going to sort of use these motors properly. I'm trying to get this thing somewhat level. There we go, close enough. So if I go back in now uh, to the rotors and change that to minus nine four, that's a plus. As you see, they'll rotate back up again. I mean, I'm assuming that's how the proper caterpillar is going to use them, you know, for assisting in takeoffs and whatnot. 
and they'll rotate it back up 90 degrees and should click into place. Dink, dink. And then away you go to wherever or whatever you're doing. I think that wee ship might get slapped. Will it? Will it? Will it? Will it? I'll keep going to see if I can belt it. Ooh, it just survived. Lucky. So, guys, that is my Star Citizen Caterpillar. And I keep forgetting to replace that red bit at the front there. So, um, I hope you like it. And I hope it is of a decent standard that nobody's going to whinge and complain it looks crap, blah, 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 blah. Because you've got to think, all I'm using is square blocks here. There's no real curves that you can do on this thing. Um, I'm even using interior parts. Like this slanted bit here is actually a walkway. That's the, that's a slanted flaming ramp. You know, and I'm using these for interior bits. So, uh, I don't even know why I did that because I'm not even saving this version. Um, I hope you like it, and for those of you who have actually seen the pictures, I shall show you that I'm not far off the size of what Star Citizen is predicting it's going to be compared to the guy. Whoop, I'm a bit skew with there. You know, the picture depicts the guy about halfway up or so of the thing, so that's not bad. So, guys, thanks for watching uh, my quick video of my caterpillar. I uh, hope you guys like it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like this video and other videos on the channel, feel free to have a nosy around there. Uh, if you like them, please subscribe so you can be up to date with. Uh, any of my videos that I throw out there, there's going to be more Space Engineers, obviously. Uh, next car game, Battlefield, when everybody stops doing it. Uh, same with Daisy, when everybody stops doing it, I'll chuck a few of them out. Um, any suggestions or comments, chuck them down below. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can with them. And if you want fairly up to date news and whatnot on things I follow, please go to my YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube channel derp please go to my Facebook page for this channel and I usually post any videos up on there that I do and also bits of information about um, new additions to my gaming rig um, you know any gaming news that I feel like putting up there and things like that uh, also the same for my Twitter channel that I have on there uh, feel free to join that as well that's gets the same sort of information on there as well as the other, other bonus from um, Planet Side 2 that I play and I have a Twitch channel as well if anybody fancies watching me playing games live streaming or in the future hopefully doing some live Planet Side 2 tactics shows when I eventually get back into them uh, again, thanks for watching guys, to the new subscribers that have just come in the last few days, thanks for subscribing, and hopefully I will keep you entertained with these bids. Um, see you later guys, happy gaming.